Hi, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of First Impression Friday. Today, we are taking a look at the brand new brand from the big four, which is now going to be the big five. This is No Me Patterns very first inaugural collection. If you missed it, I did a video um, already kind of talking you through what this is, the vision behind it, um, and sort of just some of the, the overarching thoughts and ideas I had uh, learning about this for the first time. So I have linked that in the top right corner of your screen here. You can click on that. It opens in a brand new tab so you will not lose your place here. Um, but today we are going to do our traditional first impressions. I'm going to go through each of the patterns just like I normally would for any of the big fives. It's going to be so weird getting used to saying that. Um, the big five collections. Um, and, you know, assess the patterns for fit, fabrication, overall design, just like I normally would. Um, if you're new here, and this is your very first Inside the Hem video, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I sew all my own clothes, and this YouTube channel is really like my space where we can like all nerd out about garment sewing at home together. Uh, I would love it if you would leave a comment introducing yourself so that I can get to know you a little better. Um, but for everybody else here, be sure you're subscribed. You may think you are and you aren't. And it's so sad. <laughs> uh, and you can click the bell if you want to get notified every time I post a video. Okay, so first things first, we're jumping right in. I don't know necessarily how these are organized. I don't think it's by any certain way. But this is the Mrs. and Women's Coat and Trousers by Butte Jador, a.k.a. Nikki Brooks. She's been around since way before I started sewing. You guys probably know her. But in my opinion, her style is very chic. She is always on point with the trends and the style. I mean, you can even tell this power pose here is giving me life. Um, it's described as an average rating. The sizing is, and I expect for every pattern in the Nomi collection to be fully inclusive. So we have a size 10 up to a 38 women's, three different envelopes, and I expect that throughout. I don't think that they are going to be doing some patterns in some sizes and other patterns in other sizes. I think that they're all going to be the same. We'll, we'll confirm as we go forward. Um, but what is missing here is the four, six, and eight size range. So the petites are not here. So we're going to look at the size chart and see just what a size 10 means and just what a size 38 means. And we can kind of talk about it then. But this is rated as average in difficulty, oversized line coat, which, oh my gosh, I don't need coats, but an oversized one I need. <laughs> um, has belt, sleeve bands, wide lapel, notched collar, and side seam pockets. High-waisted, ankle-length trousers have waistband, front and back darts, invisible side zipper, and side seam slits at ankle. Okay. So, jumping into the photos, this is the cover. I kind of like that they have the cover as the first image. Normally that's hidden, like, after all of the other photos. But we have A, which is the coat, and A and B, coat and pants. There's that photo again. So all of the designers are the models also. These are not fit models. These are not people that have been hired from an agency or whatever. This is Nikki. Nikki designed these patterns. She's the one modeling. Just how Mimi G does it. So off the bat, yes, we have the coat with the wide lapel notched collar. We have the belt with belt loops. And this sleeve, it looks to, well, I don't know. That's a, is that the sleeve seam all the way up here? We'll have to look at line drawings, but I'm loving these huge cuffs. There's side seam pockets in there somewhere. And then it is a fully lined coat and you can see the lining here. Then these are the trousers. So we've got a waistband. Doesn't it look like there's some seaming in there? Um, uh, darts, very close fitting, but also a really good fit. <laughs> so I don't know if the, what the fabrication is. We'll have to look at that when we get to the pattern back, but it's got to have some stretch in it, right? And then she has this really pretty pressed pleat and then they are cuffed 
Or did she, did they say they were coughed? I don't remember that from the description. But here the little side seam slits. I don't remember if they said that they were coughed or not. Hold on, I have to go back. Um, trouser waistband, front and back darts, invisible side zippers, side seam slits at ankle. Yeah. So she might have just turned them up on her own. Hmm, I have thoughts about that. I don't like when they, I think they should model the design as it was designed because that's making me think this is a cropped pant. But when I go to buy it and make it, I mean, obviously I'm checking length anyways, but it's going to be much longer. Let's see if all the photos have them cuffed. Yeah, so far, yes. Um, here's the back of the coat. So it's a dropped shoulder um, design with a sleeve. And it looks like, is that, I don't think there's top stitching there. Nope. Then you got the center back, your belt, and it's just long and oversized. Yep. Okay, cool. Well, now what's this? So maybe they are, I don't know what's happening. I can't tell. I can't tell between what she has on and what the description says and what this is telling me. I don't know. I'd have to look at the pattern pieces and make heads or tails of it that way. Okay. Uh-oh. Where's the pattern back? Oh, here we go. Okay, we've got the yardage tab back, which is honestly a million times easier to read, so I am here for this. Um, okay, so for the coat, tweed, wool blends, gabardine, cotton blends. Yes, if you watched my Style Maker Fabrics video, so many wonderful wools in that collection. Um, you could even make a lighter weight one, which would be more like a trench coat vibe. Um, same thing with the cotton blends. And then for the pants, cotton blends, dupioni silk, linen blends, sateen, stretch wovens, lightweight wool blends. So really not a lot of stretch at all. Um, which is incredible that they are so fitted without any drag lines like at all. Now granted there is no photo of the back of the pants. There's a photo of the back of the coat, but we don't get a 360 of the pants at all. So I don't know, maybe a myriad of sins are hiding on the backside. I doubt it judging from how good the front looks. But there's something to be said for that fit, for sure. For sure. I've talked before about how I don't know if they let them make alterations to their patterns, right? Like, the patterns are based off of a block that is developed, like, in-house by the design team. And so when you make patterns for that brand, you have to use that block. And so... I mean, Mimi even makes very close fitting clothes, but hers always seem to have some kind of wrinkle or something. These have none. So I'm super impressed by that. All right. Then we have our lining fabric. We have interfacing. We have one zipper for the pants. Yeah. And that's it. No closures anywhere else. Okay. So fabric requirements go up to... We get five yards for the coat, a little less than that for the lining, which makes me think that maybe the whole thing isn't lined. Oh, wait, the collar wouldn't be the band. May okay, that maybe makes sense. Um, oh, that's the interfacing anyways. Okay, and then this is the lining, a slightly less. Yeah, okay, that makes tons of sense. The trousers are up to three yards of fabric, depending on your size. And then there's a little bit of interfacing for the waistband there. Um, and the waistband also has a lining. Okay, so the finished garment measurements at the bust, which are sort of irrelevant here, the waistline for the, yeah, the measurements for the jacket, the coat really are irrelevant. It's so oversized. But for the waistline of the pants, it's a 27 up to 54 and a half and the hip line of the pants 38 up to 67. So this side of things looks great. I know all of you petite girls out there are scratching your heads wondering how, like how the inclusivity is missing you guys. And I get that. I, I feel you. I've, I've heard from you guys online. I've heard from you in the DMs. Like I get it. 
Um, so maybe the next round is what you can hope for. I don't know. Um, so there you have it. The first pattern from Nikki at Butte du Jour. J'adore. I always get those tongue tied. This is Brittany J. Jones. You probably know her from YouTube. She has designed a women's knit top and jeans. Um, average rating, the three size ranges again are the same. Knit mock turtleneck top has sleeveless or three quarter sleeve options and has tie belt and side slits. Trouser style jeans with pleats have pockets and straight or tapered leg options. Okay. So this is Brittany. Knit top, trouser jeans, also made out of corduroy here. Okay, let's take a closer look. This is the top, obviously. So mock turtleneck, but it's also giving me um uh, cowl vibes. Like to me, a, a turtleneck has that separate seam, but this almost feels like a grown on turtleneck. And then we have a set in sleeve, a little bit long through the shoulder here. I would say her shoulder should end about here. I don't think it's meant to be a drop shoulder. Then you have a three quarter sleeve, a little tie belt for some waist definition, and then these really cool side slits. So it's like a tunic, right? It's very much tunic length, but this slit here gives it a lot of personality and also lengthens her leg line a lot. So it's actually like a lot more flattering than a tunic that cuts you off at the biggest part of your, some of our bodies. Uh, right? Can you see how that just elongates her leg there? She looks 50,000 feet tall. I love that. Okay. So here are the trousers. Is this tapered? This must be the tapered version. I want to see more of the pants. Here is the sleeveless tank. Yeah, definitely like a grown on situation. The sleeveless version has the same arm size as the sleeved version. That would be something that I would nitpick. I like a cut in sleeveless arm size. That's just, I don't know if it's a personal preference. I don't know. Um, but this, obviously this is where the sleeve would go and still it feels a little bit long. Uh, but it's an easy alteration to take that back on your own if you want. I just think it, when you see the whole shoulder, it's a little bit more flattering, maybe. I don't know. Um, okay, and then this is a shorter length because the slits are shorter. And then here are the pants. There are some pleats in the pants. Um, and some slash pockets I can kind of see. This must be the wide leg or straight leg version. Sorry. Okay. So I'm trying to make heads or tails of this. Sorry. So this is the front. Yeah, it's a normal set in sleeve situation. So double check the length of the shoulder. Sleeved, sleeveless. And then the backs of, okay. Then this is the back of B and the back of A. Okay. Whoops. And then here's your tie belt. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. And then, well, oh, how did that happen? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. And then for the pants, tapered, that has actually like a little dart in the ankle. That's really cool. Um, but they are full on pleated pant. Like we're taking it back to the mom jeans, um, with the pleat here, or maybe even dad jeans, which one has the pleat in it? <laughs> um, pleated full on fly construction slash pockets. You've got a yoke, a waistband with belt loops, um, back pockets, all of that. As always with the big five, I'm missing lots and lots and lots of angles. Like I need a lot more photos. I want to see more of the waistband of the pant. I want to see the back. Like there's not one photo of the back. Like I just want to see a lot more before I'm purchasing this. I mean, the line drawings are nice, but I want to see it in 3d. All right. The yardage stretch. This is for the top stretch knits only interlock Jersey rib knit ITY sweater knit. Yeah, they're going to have a stretch gauge, but not tell us what that is. So if you're ordering online, 
and you're trying to find fabric, you'll just have to wait till the pattern comes in, I guess. I don't know why they can't put the stretch percentage in here, but, and then for the pants, cotton blends, denim, linen blends, pinwheel corduroy, stretch wovens, lining for the pants. I'm assuming it's just the waistband, but they put cotton blends, polyester lining fabric, and then lightweight fusible for the waistband. And then bias tape for the pants. Oh no, the sh the sleeveless top. Okay, they're giving those two separate um, view letters. Okay, and then for the pants, seven inch zipper, and then your one button. Okay, ten to thirty eight. Like we said, the top um, goes up to roughly two and a half yards. The sleeveless version is less than two yards. If you're up to a size eighteen, the sleeveless one is a one yard wonder. And maybe even can fudge up to the 22 would be a one yard wonder too. And then for your pants, the tapered version, these are the fabric requirements for those. Not a lot considering it's a full pant, you know? And then, oh, it's the pocket bag lining. That's what they're calling out that lining fabric for. Okay. Um, and then they don't have on here the body measurement chart. So I don't know which one they're using, maybe Simplicity, since that's where Mimi came from, but I can't speak to ease um, because I don't have the body measurement chart, but it the top is a 33 and a half bust, inch bust up to 59. I'm assuming there's some negative ease in there considering how fitted it is on Brittany. Um, and then the pants waistline finished and the hip line finished pretty similar to the pants we saw from Nikki okay next we have Alyssa Mrs. Knit Cardigan and Skirt by Alyssa Threads Cardigan has ruffle flounce neckline detail and comes in cropped or long lengths long or short skirt has elastic waistband and front slit detail it only comes in alphanumeric sizing, small through 2X. Interesting. Okay. Alyssa is the girly girl of my dreams. I've been following her for years because she loves a flounce maybe more than I do. And I really love a flounce. Um, so she's got a, this is definitely like a rib knit, right? Cardigan cropped with this flounce. I mean, it's definitely a flounce, right? Or I don't know. It might be gathered. And then it has this band and then three buttons, but also this full sleeve with a cuff. And then this really cute pull on very simple skirt here um, that has a slit on one leg. Princess seems really straightforward. This fabric over here looks very not knit. <laughs> so, um, we'll have to look at the fabrication of all of that, but isn't she the cutest? This one looks, well, now I say that now it kind of does look like a knit. I don't know. We'll have to look. Can't honestly say how I feel about, I think together it's really cute. Hmm. I think I'm having a hard time with the concept of a cropped cardigan. I mean, obviously easy enough to lengthen, maybe even just a little bit. Maybe this is too cropped for me, but looks great on her. Yeah, I think if it were less of a sliver and more of like the waist, the bands overlap each other maybe, where it looks a little bit more like a dress or maybe I'm having a problem with the fact that this has a button placket and this doesn't I don't know something about these two things is like really jarring right here okay here are the line drawings they're really cute um they do have a longer version okay there's a longer version with six buttons than she has hers. Well, hers only had three buttons, but the 
illustration has four. So there's that. Um, a, B, the length of A, I'm sorry, the sleeve of A, the sleeve of B. Is B's sleeve different? No, that's the length of B. Okay, sleeves are the same, right? My eyes are playing tricks on me. Then we have this elasticated skirt with princess seams and a little slit. Really straightforward on that. Okay, let's look at the envelope back. Yeah, stretch knits only. Jersey knit, ITY, and sweater knits for the top. And then the bottoms are Ponty, double knit, and sweater knits. So really, the only recommendation to have them matching is a sweater knit, which I think a sweater knit mini skirt is cute. And then obviously a sweater knit cardigan is cute. Yeah, I think I would just play around for me. I would play around with the proportions a little bit. This lighter weight one though, I don't know. Cause it's kind of like a maxi dress. I don't know. Maybe it's the shortness of this and the longness of this. I don't know. Okay. Um, six buttons, four buttons, elastic, good, thick, I mean, wide, one quarter, one and a quarter inch wide elastic. I love that chunky elastic in a waistband. Alphanumeric sizing, which puts us at a 35 inch finished bust line up to 50 and a half. I don't know why B is so much closer fitting. Aren't they the same? B, what am I looking at? Let's go to here where I can make heads or tails of it better. So A and B are the same. One's just shorter, yet one also has two and a half inches less ease. That doesn't make a lot of sense. And then the waistline of the skirt is 31 to 46 and a half. And the hip line is 36 to 51 and a half. Really kind of surprised to see it so small. Um, okay, next we have Mrs. Jacket, Pants, and Skirt by Joanna M. Chandler. How fun. I just love the cover so much <laughs> with their little picture here. Like their little like professional, like <laughs> if I were a banker, <laughs> here's my biopic. Okay, average rating again. Classy streetwear includes cropped zip front jacket. So this is cropped too, but not as cropped. Maybe that is what I was talking about with the last, with Alyssa's pattern. I don't know. Um, zip front jacket, pants and skirt with grommet and tie details. Short skirt with back vent and straight leg pants have pockets and invisible zipper at side seam. So this is one of those like wardrobe type of outfits where you get the jacket, skirt, and pants all in one. All right, Duana, let's see what we've got here. Zip front. This looks like maybe a ponty knit. Um, you do have a collar, like a stand collar. The shoulder seam on this looks really great. Bust darts look wonderful. There is a waist seam and like a little baby peplum where this little drawstring is fed through. That's really fun and unique. I don't really feel like I've seen that anywhere. And then we've got a pull on skirt with darts, but I need to see more about what's happening with this pocket. It almost looks like, like a, like a cargo pocket with like a bow. You know, I love a bow. And then just a straight hem. Okay. Here are the pants, which again have a pleat. And the same pocketing detail. I kind of wish she would have done the collar in the rib too. Or this in the same, like all of it the same. Or these, I don't know. Um small, super nitpicky, silly little things that my brain notices. Um, and then a beautiful leg line. I'm loving the look on this nice deep hem here. Yeah, it is kind of cool, especially with her like black accessories. 
well, she only has the shoes, but I imagine she had a black bag um, with it too. I think that's really fun. Oh, good. A back. Great. Love that. Um, so yeah, it looks like, okay. Yeah. Just the, the neck band slash collar thing here. Center back seam. I'm not sure what all of this is about. Maybe it's just like the stiffness of her fabric. And then I also don't really love that you can see this seam line here, but that can easily be fixed. Then you have a center back seam with this really cute kick pleat, some threads that need to be trimmed, which I've been there, girl, I've been there. Um, back darts. And then here's a kind of pretty good look at the pocket. Now the pocket is literally on the side of your hips. So I know a lot of you are thinking, oh my God, that's going to make me look bigger than I am. But I don't know necessarily. I mean, she's, she's endowed in the lower half and I don't feel like it really adds. Well, if, when you look at these, it definitely does. <laughs> Hold on. Let's go to another. Oh, we don't really have a straight on photo. Well, if you always turn with one hip toward the back, pop one hip and keep one arm in front of you, then you'll look exceptional every single time. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think if you think it's cool, who cares if it makes your hips look better than they really are? That's my vote. Um, but it's unique, right? Definitely not like anything we see anywhere. Not even indies. I can't even think of an indie that looks like this. The pocketing is really cool. And this little peplum thing is fun. And a side zip to get in. I love a side zip. Okay. Let's see the yardage. So it is, well, it's a woven or very stable knit pattern. So cotton blends, linen blends, taffeta, polyester blends, nylon blends, and then ponty and double knit. Like I said, I think that that purple one is a ponty. And then you do need some rib knit for the sleeve cuff lining fabric, lightweight fusible, and then you need some grommets. Like how hard is it for them to highlight all of this or none of this? Like, I don't understand like why, why the bolding is just so chaotic here. Um, okay. So all the grommets, the ties, um, so a separating zipper bias tape and an invisible zipper for the pants. And then on this one, we have 8 to 16 and an 18 to 26 size range. Okay, so I stand corrected. I thought for sure every single pattern was going to be well into the women's sizing, but it's not. Here is our fabric requirements. I mean, one and a half yards for that jacket. Come on. That's fun. Fun, not a lot of fabric probably a pretty quick sew. That's really cool. Um, and then there's your sleeve band, interfacing. Pants are, yeah, uh, I don't know, up to two, two and a quarter yards, depending on how good you are at pattern Tetris. And the little skirt is a one yard wonder. So you can do the skirt and the jacket for, you know, two and a half ish, maybe a little bit less yards of fabric. And then here's your finished garment measurements. Again, I don't really have anything to compare it to, so it's kind of just like arbitrary right now, but they are here um, for you to help pick your size. But the problem is when they don't provide, I guess you could go in here and like memorize this. <laughs> I don't know. I wish I just had it all together, but anyways. You could do this and then do the math to figure out how much ease to figure out if you need to size up, size down, what the situation is. All right, we've got, I hope it's the top. Yes, Women's Top and Pants by Ironica B. Cole. An outfit that can do it all thanks to the simple but pretty details. I mean, yes. The top features princess seams, gathered sleeves, elasticized band, and button back keyhole opening. Slim fit pants have front pleats and waistband with back elastic. Now this is a women's only pattern. So it's only coming in the women's sizes. 
So for the very, very first time, there might be some people in the Mrs. section who finally <laughs> feel the pain that all of the plus size women have been feeling for so long when you see something super, super cute and it doesn't come in your size. Um, that like jealousy or whatever emotion that is has been felt the other way for so long. But that said, I still don't think it's right to eliminate any of the sizes. I don't understand why they can't just make these in sizes 4 to 38. I don't, I don't understand. I'm sure there's a very maybe good, at best, decent explanation for why something to do with the tissue paper production. I don't know. But I just wish that everybody could sew anything. Then I'll leave it at that. That said, I am so happy that I am on the very small end, <laughs> the smallest end of the uh, women's sizing because this top is so stinking cute. So we have a crop top, but this lovely um, princess seam. No, princess seam sweetheart neckline. That's what I'm trying to say. Into this mesh with like a bias binding finish on the neckline. And then like, are these applique on? Like, what is the story behind these sleeves? Because it is just very pretty. Then we've got a, waisted, a waistband trouser. Look at this. Two darts in the front. I'm assuming two in the back as well. Um, Some... Ooh, Oh, wait, they're elasticized in the back. So you just pull them on. So no closures. You do have pockets here. And then they're kind of a little bit of a taper at the bottom. Love this. And I think that might be elastic here too. Straight on view. Thank you so much for this. And there's even like a little puff sleeve. So this must be the fabric because there's a little bit in the seam allowance here. Think about all of those super, super cool mesh fabrics that you see and you're like, what am I going to do with this? Like, it doesn't have to be like a super fancy gown or dress. It can be this really freaking cute top. A back view? Okay, she's giving it all. Thank you. So we've got a keyhole with a button closure the um, mesh little, I guess it's like a yoke, um, continues through the back. And then, yeah, your lovely straight leg pant. So cute. And if the crop's not for you, leave the elastic out, lengthen this a little bit, and you've got a regular top. I don't know. that I might be buying this one, guys. It's very, very cool. And like fun for someone like me who would go to holiday events, but I'm not going to a gala. Like I'm not going to even really what would be considered a party. Like at best, it's like a dinner with girlfriends <laughs> where we're like, let's dress up. And our dress up version is usually jeans and a cute top. But this could be like the Lindsay twist on all of that. I really like this. All right. Pattern back. This is for the top. Cotton blends, linen blends, stretch wovens, ponte, double knit. Also in crepe machine and silky types. And then the contrast is novelty sheer, georgette, and chiffon. So it doesn't even have to be sheer. You could put on a georgette or a chiffon and just have like a lightweight flowy moment contrasted with some of these lighter weight fabrics. Interfacing. Oh, that's the fabric for both the top and the bottom. I mean, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Then you need elastic. Uh, more elastic. One button. And an invisible zipper. An invisible zipper. I missed that. No. There's no zipper in this illustration. Slim fit pants have front pleats and waistband with back elastic. There's no zipper. Uh, 
Okay, so then you have your 16 to 26, 28 to 38 sizing. The top, now remember it's two parts. It's the contrast and like the main part. So all in all, the largest size is two and a quarter yards at most is what you would need. And then the pants, again, two and a half, two and three quarter yards. A little bit of interfacing. Bust line, oh, it actually might be too big. I'm like a 36 inch bust, but the pants would fit. So that's what it is. I am the smallest size in pants in my hip but the top I'm like fully in misses. <laughs> well, maybe I can like hack this myself and just kind of steal the design idea, give her full credit for the inspiration. But because it doesn't come in my size, kind of just figure it out on my own because I love that. Oh, I also wanted to see how many darts were in the back. None because it's elastic. Okay, okay. All right. So was that everything? Yes. Hip line 46 and a half up to 68, waistline 40 to 62. Even my waistline isn't in the women's, I don't think. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head now, but love that one. That's my favorite so far. Okay, now we have the corny rainbow with a dress. She always makes such cute dresses. Very fun, vibrant personality, and her clothes reflect that just 100%. Um, tuxedo style dress has princess seams, gathered skirt, and long sleeve or sleeveless options. Dress has double-breasted buttons and includes hidden button closure. So full-on double-breasted tuxedo situation. Sizing is 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26. Okay, yet another size range. Okay, so let's get into it. Tuxedo style. So we've got the lapel with the big notch crossover double breasted situation. But look at the skirt has is a gathered skirt. And at like an angle, so kind of like 80s vibes. And then a very full skirt with a blind hem, possibly. That's beautiful. Lovely. I mean, the sleeve is a little bit, like the shoulder seam is a little bit long on this one too. But maybe because it's meant to emulate uh, outerwear, I don't know. It's kind of okay. Let's look at the green one, the sleeveless one. So on this one, yeah, the arm side in general looks a little big because um, I would be taking this up to here. Obviously, this can come in a lot more, maybe even a little bit higher. But this is this like a suede or something. That's so fun. I really like this. I know it's very 80s and all of you were like, oh, my God, been there, done that. But I really like the little curved gathered skirt. It's cute. Look at this hair bow. Right? Like she walks into a room and I know everyone's just like catching eyes. Cute. Here it is from the side. So for as full as it is from the front, as full as this is, I mean granted her hands are in the pockets, but as full as this is this way, this way, not so full, which is very flattering, I think. And then you can see here that the gathers kind of come in and stop at this princess seam. It also kind of goes through here and down. And then some fisheye darts in here too. Yeah, maybe, wait, is this all the seam? We're going to look at the line drawings. This might be more complicated than I really, no, there's nothing up there. So it looks like princess seams from the arm side. Can you see how it's too big? Um, I think maybe because she's full or busted, she had to make it this size to fit her bust, but it's too big in the arm side and shoulder. I see it a lot. It's, I mean, one of those things about sewing at home where you're, you know, doing the best you can with sizing. Um, but a couple quick alterations in the arm side and it would be pretty perfect. All right. So this is the princess seam comes down through here. I like that there's no gathers like on the fullness of the bum. 
a little bit long through here, but not bad at all. I mean, the line drawings make it look kind of cray, but <laughs> it looks really cute on. Like this, it looks very like Victorian, but on her, maybe because the fabric she chose, I don't know. It doesn't look that way at all. I kind of think this would be really cool in like a very simple fabric too. Like I always like to try and imagine fancy things in chambray and that really just wipes away any notion of it being fancy to me. And I can imagine this in like a really cute chambray or I don't know, maybe seersucker or something. I don't know. I'm going super sweet with it, but cute. All right. So cotton blends, stretch wovens, crepe, velvet, and double knit. <laughs> no chambray or seersucker mentioned anywhere. That's okay. Um, button or sorry, uh, bias tape buttons. Um, yeah, we did the sizing. Okay. Yeah. It's going to take a bit of fabric because of that skirt and because the center panels are so long as well and it's double breasted. So yeah, kind of a fabric hog, but really not that bad considering like a full sleeved double, you know, four yards, not so bad. Um, and then here's your finished garment measurements. It is pretty close fitting um through the bust for sure and the waist for that matter okay next up we have mrs knit dresses by kichi b style i have to admit i don't know i don't know if i follow her or not i will now oh marcia spencer that sounds familiar Okay, I'll look into that. Um, anyways, I fully just digressed. We have a dress, knit dress, that's comfortable yet polished. If that isn't me, I don't know what is. Comfortable yet polished knit dress features exposed separating front zipper, contrast rib knit at collar, sleeve bands and midriff, and comes in two lengths. Okay. 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26. So same as the last pattern. Let's look at the big pictures. Okay. Oh. So imagine a bomber jacket dress. But it has this really unique kind of like yoke detail too. Very sporty with the separating zipper. It would have been kind of cool to do the two-way zipper. But I don't know if you could get into it if you did that. I don't know. Um, side seam pockets. The band, the rib knit is at the wrist, the midriff, and the neck. And then it's kind of like a column dress. Very wide waistband, but also uh, these gathers, I assume, are intentional. Might be a little tall. Right? I think I would like it better if it stopped right here on her. Okay, here is... Yeah, this version, I think, fits better. I don't know why. I don't know if maybe this is narrower. I don't know. But... Fun little, like, I don't know, southwestern type of print, grown on sleeve. So this is really ideal for stripes or anything with, like, a directional print like this. And this is the shorter length. Let's see, more photos. Nope, no more photos. Okay, so this part is the only thing about it to me that is a little bit like, um, like an alien's uniform, kind of. I'm not understanding the choice of the bib not that it's not cool but also let me just that pattern matching you can see it right here that is incredible i had to do a double take comes through here comes down this way back up through here and then right here you can barely barely see it that's incredible kudos to her for that 
um, center back seam on the top, but not on the skirt. So being a pear shape, I think that these designs that are fitted on the bottom and rooming on the top give me an hourglass shape, which I don't mind. But if you are, well, if you're already hourglass, yeah, this might be pretty flattering on all body types. But the waistband definitely does pull in and create a sense of gathers underneath this. I would just triple check the width of this just to make sure it's not going up too high. But also you have the long sleeve bands too, which I didn't notice on the short version. It's cool. It's different. It might be a little too out there for me. I am comfortable yet polished, but this might be a little too like cool and I'm not cool. <laughs> um, moderate stretch knits only so just double knit ponte scuba sweatshirt fleece terry knit well that's gonna be like freaking pajamas rib knit and then a 30 inch separating zipper up to three yards ish and then you have your bands 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 and then loose fitting top Probably negative ease at the waist, and then the hip line would probably be pretty, like, close to your actual hip measurement. Like, zero ease, I guess. Yeah, I just don't know if I could pull that off, or people would think that I was, like, wearing a costume or something. Okay, now we have Mrs. and Women's Jumpsuit by Handmade Millennial, a.k.a. Ella Clausen. Here for the millennials, I'm barely a millennial. I'm a cusp millennial on the high end. <laughs> so I like to stake claim to my millennialism as, long, as much as I possibly can. Um, okay, so this one we have the full size range, 10 to 38. Um, wide leg jumpsuits feature twist front detail, deep v-neck, side seam pockets, and invisible back zipper, Options include long or short flutter sleeves and full or cropped length pant, I'm assuming. So cute. I don't know where she lives, but I want to go there. Okay, so. Okay, so we have like a, a grown on like kind of collar-y type of thing with this twist front detail very loose fitting right like this is loosey-goosey kind of everywhere um you have the flutter sleeve again it's a little bit long in the shoulder and then the pant has pleats and then this must be the wide long leg this fabric is so cool with all those faces Okay, this version feels more fitted and sexier just kind of in general. I don't know how that happened, but there's also a puff sleeve, which I didn't notice on the last version at all. Long sleeve. Oh, maybe the flutter sleeve doesn't have this. Only the, the fitted sleeve does. And then kind of giving like tuxedo uh, cummerbund, right? So that could be really cool for the holidays to do like a crepe back satin. And have the satiny part be this part and then the crepe part be this or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know if she's pulling. I don't know what's happening here. Why Something with this hand is making all of this happen. Because it's not happening over here. It's also kind of both arms back like that. It's pulling this apart in a weird way. I don't know. It's an odd pose. Oh, there we go. That's lovely. I, I like this. I like this a lot, especially visioning it like similar but different, like shine or matte or some tone on tone thing maybe. I don't know. Here's the back. Thank you for a back view. So center back zipper through the waist seam. Okay. 
this must be the wide leg and the other one is not. But you do have these beautiful darts coming up through here. I do feel like it's a little long waisted on her. Just a little bit. Like her waist is probably up here somewhere. But you've got these pretty darts. Side seam pockets. Super cute, right? Yeah, it definitely, especially uh, something about this version, the red version particularly looks like women's wear, men's wear combined. I really like that concept. Okay. Pattern back. Shally, rayon, cotton blends, crepe de chine, silky types, and stretch wovens. Um zippers and then we've got the all the sizes so up to four and a half yards for a four yards for b finished garment measurements the bust line goes up to 63 waistline goes up to 55 hip line goes up to 67 but again like we can go lower on this into the low 30s for sure Okay, next we have, all right, now we've got four men's wear designs. Now, to be perfectly honest, I don't sew for men. I think I know what looks good on a man, and I think I know what fits a man, but I don't know it as well as women's wear. So I might be a little bit brief in that area, but let's take a look because we don't, I mean, I can't think of a single collection that Big Four has ever done that has four separate menswear patterns, right? And then there are some um, indie designers who do a decent job of producing menswear, but so far not in the big four. But anyways, this is a men's knit button-up top and pants by Julian Creates. Knit top has button front placket, long sleeves with cuff bands, and bottom band with button details. Slim knit pants, Oh, the pants too. I missed that part. Um, have fly front with zipper. Knit pants with a fly front. Huh. Is that normal? I would think knit pants would be like sweatpants. No? Front pockets. Pin tucks. Drawstring waist. Drawstring waist? With a zip fly? I'm so confused. And single welt back pockets. Sizing on this is a men's 34 up to 52. I have no idea what that means. The back of these pants look incredible. Let's get closer up. Look how cute this little marble knit with the contrast. Oh, I also like this little kind of vintage -y detail with the Oh, I don't know the point. <laughs> I don't know what to call that. Um, nice little collar. Very well constructed, if I do say so myself. Now, the shoulder on him looks really good to me. Um, men's wear, I think, tends to be a little bit longer, right? Cardigan looks good. So there is a fly front. Oh, and then this is what's called the pin tuck. Just one. Really? I thought it was called... I thought it was called something else. Press something, pressed something. All right, then we have the pocketing. There's the back. Again, the back looks great from what I can see. So what I want to know is, what do I want to know? <laughs> I want to know, this comes apart, right, to unzip. The zipper only goes up to here, and then there's nothing holding this closed other than the tie. There's no, like, hook and eye, no button, no nothing. That seems risky. <laughs> and then back welt pockets on a knit pant? Excuse me. But doesn't this give you, like, Mr. Rogers cardigan vibes. I love it. 
Okay, let's look at the back so I can kind of understand what I'm looking at here. Stretch knits only for the cardigan, interlock, ITY, bamboo, rayon blends. Interesting. I would have put sweater knits in there, like at least a lightweight sweater knit. And then the pants, double knit, ponty, and terry. Maybe he has on his Instagram somewhere, like, exactly the fabric he used. I don't know. Um, 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 um. Okay. Hold on. We're getting somewhere. So the cardigan has seven buttons, and then the pants do have a hook closure. Okay. So there is a hook and eye in there, and then also the zipper and the drawstring and the elastic and all the things. Okay. So cardigan, one and three quarter yards plus your contrast of a of three quarters of a yard plus some interfacing pants two and three eighths of a yard interfacing for the waistband measurement at the chest line 38 to 56 literally no reason why a woman couldn't make either one of these um it would just be boxy right it would just not have any darts or shaping or anything just be boxy these pants what i wanted to see about the hip line and the waistline like i would be interested in making these for myself i think they're really kind of cool um, especially, yeah, fitting the waist would be super simple because you'd have the elastic plus the drawstring. I don't know. Something so intriguing to me about like a dressy sweatpant. <laughs> All right. Now look at this guy. Men's varsity bomber jacket. Does it button? It but oh, it buttons, but it doesn't have raglan sleeves. Darn, I'll never find that pattern of my dreams. Um, in two links by Sins of Many. Scorpio Uza. What a name. Scorpio is the scorpion, right? He looks so kind and gentle. Lined bomber jackets have contrast sleeves, rib knit collar sleeve and waistbands long bomber is button front with arm zipper pocket arm zipper pocket oh like at the top like at your bicep and double welt side pockets short bomber is snap front with zipper pockets on arm and front oh okay i think i know what that means okay so look how the cool the fabrication is snap front zipper but it's like again like a cargo pocket like 3d and look at these cool tags he puts on <laughs> all right then you have the rib knit leather pleather something and then the white here and it all just dang scorpio coming through with the fabrication of it all this looks like a million bucks here's the long one which if you would tell me long line knee length bomber jacket i'd be like mm, that seems weird but this i i would wear this i need a long knee length bomber jacket like immediately and i do like the little contrast situation it could go a little bit team colors a little bit collegiate a little bit nfl really easily depending on the colors that you pick so just be super mindful of that unless that's what you want is something to wear to a packers game then by all means get, you know get your team colors um but if you're looking for something a little bit less sport sporting game sports game sports bar um try and pick some elevated colors like he did super cool i bet everyone asks him where he got that i would oh here's the sleeve pocket too oh okay there's a zipper back here we're gonna have to look at that a little bit closer can you see it better here no not really maybe the line drawing wow I mean, it's cool. It's very cool. It looks really expensive. I can't really tell how hard it is to make. 
like I know I've done these before on some kind of coat and it was easier to construct than I thought um, but yeah it's just really cool I'm jealous I want one <laughs> um, the sizing on this is 34 to 52 I can't remember what Julian's was We'll look at this. So fabrics, corduroy, cotton blends, micro suede, stretch wovens, wool blends, and sweatshirt fleece. Rib knits. Uh, zippers. Buttons or snaps. Snaps. Twill tape. Yeah, two and a half yards plus the contrast times two, times three for all the different parts. Yeah, I bet it adds up pretty quickly. When I said it looked expensive, it probably actually, <laughs> it probably is pretty expensive, including your time, you know. Um, okay, then this is the long jacket, right? No, this is the short jacket. And then lining. Did this one have lining? No. Oh, yeah, right here. Lining. So jacket B does not have all the contrast. Yes, it does. Oh, A and B. A and B. That's confusing. That's confusing, but okay, there it is. So bust slash chest line measurement 41 to 59. Waistline 40 and a half up to 58 and a half. And no hip measurement, even though it fully goes over the hips here. So. Now we have Norris, men's moto jacket. Well, he is just too cool. Asymmetric zip front moto jacket has front belt set into side seams. Front belt set into side seams. Okay. Snaps on collar. Yes. Wait, this is Mimi's jacket. The green one with the mini skirt from Simplicity's collection. I mean, maybe a few other details, but those, they look very close to me. So, which makes me think you could have like matching men and women, like couple moto jackets. Um, Asymmetric front zip, which hers might not have had that. Um, plus zipper and gusset sleeve on details. But either way, she had a moto jacket with the snaps on the collars. Very similar in like a green, I don't know, maybe a wool. But this one they did out of some kind of um, leather. I wish it had more of a cuff and not just a hem here. It does have the cool back sleeve zipper though. And I do like how this mimics this line here. That's fun. Thoughtful. I like this little pocket too. I might like this better than Mimi's. Don't tell her I said that. And then the back also has like the, I don't remember what those things are called, arm gussets maybe? Um, that was on, we did a sew along with a jacket that had that. I loved that detail. The green plaid one that I made. Um, and then some kind of seaming through here. Yeah, make this in red and you are Michael Jackson for Halloween in a second. Okay. Leather, leather-like fabrics, cotton blends, wool blends, denim. Yep. Lining fabric, fusible interfacing. Zipper. Five, five, six inch zippers, one, one and a half inch buckle, three eyelets, seven wide or five eighths inch wide heavy duty snaps. That's a lot. Um, two and a half ish yards plus some lining plus two whole yards of interfacing. And then here are your measurements. Again, no reason why a woman couldn't make this in addition to a man. 
or however you identify, I should say. And then he has a second one, which is this jumpsuit. Create a comfortable and stylish jumpsuit that features front zipper closure, collar with snaps, elastic at waist, chest, elastic at waist, comma, chest and back patch pockets and side pockets. Sometimes these things are so hard to read. Um, optional name tag patches can be added to further personalize your jumpsuit. What? What does that even mean? Okay. Men, like ladies, I know there are some of you out there who watch these first impression videos with your men, with your husband's boyfriend, whoever it is. I need you to call them over and we need to have a talk about whether men, average men, are wearing jumpsuits. Are we there yet? Because I think it's super, super, super cool. And I think that if I passed a guy in Target who was wearing a jumpsuit, I would be like, yes, he is, I, like, he's cool. Like, but I can totally see, like, my friend's dad showing up to, like, a football party in a jumpsuit, and I would be like, well, still he's cool, but also, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling conflicted. So ask your men, babe, would you ever wear a jumpsuit like this? Loose fitting, you know, with a collar, a very manly one, and leave it in the comments. Let's discuss down there. Okay, so little collar with a, one snap, a uh, patch pocket. Snaps are through here, but maybe a zipper, I don't know. Then this little elastic casing, side seam pockets, I think. Kind of a drop shoulder on this one, and then a straight leg. Here's the back. So a yoke, right? That's do these two things separate guys wear all the time, but would they be wearing them attached? I kind of don't mind the sloppiness through here. I know that you're probably expecting me to pick that apart fitting wise, but I think it adds to like the coolness of it all. I don't know. It feels very like, I don't know. It's just super cool. I could never get Dan into a jumpsuit for the record, like ever. Oh, but look, you can do like, if you worked at a gas station or you were like a mechanic, that's what I was thinking of. When I would talk about my friend's dad, I would think, oh, he must work on cars and he came here right after work. So I wonder how this works. Why don't we get this on women's patterns? Now I'm really jealous. <laughs> this one does have a snap. We just couldn't see it. I don't know why. But yeah, all the seaming details on this are really cool. I think the fabric is going to be pretty mid-weight wovens. Yeah, broadcloth, canvas, chino, cotton blends, denim, stretch wovens. Just be careful of like, you know, prison looking. <laughs> they can go prison really easily. It can go mechanic unintentionally really easily. Gas station attendant, you know, all of those kinds of things. All right. Oh, yeah, so there is a zip front. Um, two snaps, optional patches. Uh, I got to figure out more about this optional patch thing because how do you get one that says your name? Oh, I don't get that. Okay. Four yards of fabric. That's kind of a lot. And then very loose fitting, like everywhere, even with that elastic in the waist. I think that's really cool for women's wear, too. It's like there's elastic in here, but I'm not using it to accentuate anything. It's just here, you know. I, you know, I gotta say, this was a lot of fun. I felt like I was in for a different experience opening up every single pattern, not knowing what to expect at all, because each person's unique style is so specific to them. I really hope that you found something that spoke to your personal style in here and I, I'm excited to see where they go next, but let me know what you guys think about the very first Know Me Patterns collection. Leave it in the comments section below. 
that is going to do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye.